coincides with the 40th coronation anniversary of the Emir of Zazao, barely one week after the victims protested the delay in the release of the money, which was approved by the federal government in 2013. Among the dignitaries at the event is Vice President Namadi Sambo. Now, Kaduna is one of the states affected by the 2011 post-presidential election violence in which angry supporters of a candidate of one of the political parties took to the streets and attacked innocent citizens. They also destroyed property worth billions. It will be recalled that the state government assisted victims of the crisis in 2012 with the sum of 410 million. I'm also happy to announce that the federal government has also approved the sum of 3 billion to the state government, which is presently being processed to be disbursed as assistance to victims of the 2011 post presidential election violence. Although the money is coming rather late and close to another general election, the government hopes the funds will help alleviate the suffering of the victims. Kaduna State Governor Muktai Yero is asking the electorate to be law abiding and allow the rule of law to prevail in order to avert the ugly incidents of 2011. As you are aware, there are, des there are, there are desperate politicians that are already beating the drum of war. For us, the next election is not a do or die affair, and it is not worth the single drop of blood of any citizen of this great state. I also urge all citizens to shun violence before, during, and after the election. And just like the Kaduna State Governor, former Minister of Defense General Theophilus Danjuma is also asking for a stronger collaboration between the political class and traditional rulers in the country. There is a need for politicians to learn and team up with the traditional rulers to launch and win an effective war on ignorance by promoting education at all levels. The current intellect of clean primary, primary and to some extent secondary education, especially in northern Nigeria, is detrimental to our corporate health. While the release of the funds accompanies an event to be celebrated, the recipients are also hoping for an equitable and transparent disbursement.